All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Supersonic. Um, actually, hang on a second. <clears throat> Hello, it's -a me, Mario. Welcome to Do the Mario. Woohoo! All right, that I had to get that out there. But yo, welcome to Do the Mario 2023. Uh, I'll be kicking off the marathon with Super Mario Brothers One Warp category. Um, and I'll be playing like a bunch of other games too, like throughout my morning shift here. So uh, without further ado. We're just going to get started with SMB1. This is going to be the one warp. So we're going to be taking one warp zone instead of two. So we get to see a little bit more of the game, just not the whole game pretty much. So anyways, let's get to it in three, two, one, go. All right. So one dash one. First things we're going to do, grab the mushroom. Because we're going to be setting up for fire Mario and one dash two. And then we're going to try to keep the power up throughout the remainder of the of the run here. All right, you're going to do a little bit of a slowdown so I don't get six on the timer. Because if you get one, three, or six at the end of your timer there, you get fireworks respectively with one, three, or six. One doesn't really cost too much time, but three costs about a second, and then six costs about two seconds. So we don't want to have fireworks at all. But if we see one, that's fine. It's like no big deal. All right, so we're gonna grab the fire flower here. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze under there. I'm gonna do like a light duck jump to avoid that Goomba. Normally I would stomp on him, but that works too. So. And normally in the category, we would take the warp zone at world five because it is faster, but this is the more safer route because we're gonna be going to 4-2 and then use a warp zone. I'm in the game now, yeah. <laughs> I got my fire flower on me. Alright, 1-3. Normally, uh, if we were doing like PB attempts and whatnot, we would grab the mushroom here and then the fire flower in 1-4, but since we did that earlier, um, it is slightly slower to do it that way because of how we grab the power-ups, but it does kind of converge a little bit depending on how Bowser behaves. And yeah, I, I do have the fire flower right here. <laughs> So I got my fire flower and I don't think I'll be losing it so all right so one dash four the first of our few castle levels that we'll be seeing there we go it's <laughs> a small fire mart but this out on the floor you probably won't be able to see me but that was the case <laughs> But anyway, that was Bowser, by the way. He was fake. Um, if you shoot five fireballs at him, uh, he will go down and it'll bring an imposter. So now we're in world two. Um, making sure that we keep a fire here. And then there's going to be a spring at the end that can be a little finicky sometimes, but it'll behave when it wants to. So yeah, a an interesting fact about Bowser in this game, there's actually two hitboxes, uh, one on the top half and one on the bottom half, and they're kind of stacked like this. Um, it's kind of hard to see with like how I had my hands there, but um, if you actually hit him like in the middle of both of those hitboxes, it'll actually count as two damage instead of one. So you can actually get quicker fire kills on him if you're lucky, like especially with the trajectory of the fireballs. But anyways, we're in the water level. Uh, we got some bloopers and cheap cheeps. Uh, that is a single fry fish calamari special. Uh, we'll get another fried fish right there. And yes, yeah, somehow fire works in the water uh, because Nintendo logic. So in this world, fire does not disintegrate or yeah, it doesn't it doesn't go away <laughs> like in the water. All right, just like that, we're out of there. All right, 2-3, this is a bridge level. There's gonna be a lot of cheap cheeps here. Um, usually they won't be in the way unless they're like, no, not, not like this exactly, but sometimes they can be like right above you when you're about to make a big jump. And this pretty much depends on what frame rule you're on. But since we're in a marathon setting, uh, I don't know what frame rule I'm on. 
But I'm sure we all heard the bus analogy, and yeah, like, so you can think of it this way, like, every end of the level is a bus stop, and every bus leaves every 21 frames or 0.35 seconds, and then depending on when you get to that bus station, that'll determine the patterns of what you get in the later stages, mostly for the castle stages. 2-4. Okay, we got one fireball in there. Good. The fake Bowser we will see in the next game. Uh, we do call him Bruce. And then there's another fake Bowser, which we will not see uh, in this marathon. Uh, we call him Doug. He's in 9-3 of Lost Levels, but we will not be seeing that, unfortunately. But anyways... We got 3-1 here. Uh, we're pretty much in a night stage, and then we have an introduction to the Hammer Bros, which aren't really much of a factor in this situation, since we have Fire Flower. And then 3-2, uh, this level, like, from a casual standpoint, it is a great opportunity to get a bunch of 1-ups, um, but the only thing is that you can only have four enemies on the screen at, at, the, at a time because the game will either lag or it'll just despawn an enemy. And we always thank Goofy right here to the music because he found a strat where it'll despawn one or two Goombas at the end here. Uh, Goofy Chocobo is a fellow Mario runner, so he was the one that found that strat, so we always thank Goofy at that section. Alright, here we go in 3-3. So we got another treetop level. Shoot down these Koopas here. And then they have some kind of a melody with the coins. It doesn't really match with the music here, but some people say it does. I don't really hear it, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, 3-4. Um, the Poto Boost can be a bit crazy here because they all have buried heights. So I'm gonna probably play it safe in the middle of this level here find out. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what that photobu was going to be, so we'll just do that. And shoot down Bowser again. And that is three worlds down. I don't know what that melody is, actually. It's, it's just some random melody that just kind of... It just goes with the flow of the coins, but... It does not match with the Mario music, though. <laughs> Alright, so 4-1. We've so we got our friend Lakitu here. Uh, he is of no concern to us. As he's trying to run after us and he's throwing the spinies, but those spinies are just lagging behind us. Let me just, you know, hold right to win. Pretty easy. And yes, the fake Bowser in 8-4 is called Bruce. That's what we named him. So 4-2, we're going to set up for our wrong warp here. So this will be our one warp that we're taking. Do these three bumps, just like in Small Mario. And get into the pipe. And here we are in the warp zone. And now we're heading over to World 8. So we're not going to be seeing Worlds 5, 6, and 7. So here we are, 8-1. So now we're pretty much in 80% territory here, technically. But since we have Fire Flower, um, it should be pretty doable to get through this without messing up. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Thing things can go wrong in an instant. Like, this game is pretty synonymous of getting eat inputs eaten and such. But hopefully that will not be the case here. Alright, just gonna jump on these here, shoot this guy down, make it easier to jump on that platform, and we're done with 8-1. Happy Mario Day, everybody. Hope y'all are having a great Friday today. We got a lot of Mario content happening throughout Do the Mario Marathon. And as always, I'm, I'm honored and privileged to be a part of RGL's marathons. Great group of folks. 
I don't know what I'm trying to do there. That was not supposed to happen, but I somehow salvaged it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do the Xerox F B B B B strat, which is bonk, brush, boing, and bounce. Very consistent strat. Anybody can do it. Very easy. Don't have to worry about any of the enemies just getting in your way. And here we are on 8 3. And we're gonna be dealing with some hammer bros here and bullet bills. But... Alright, those bros were actually nice, so that's good. <laughs> Our input's delicious. I'm pretty sure they are. Alright, sometimes these bros can jump, so. Oh, that guy did, but thankfully it wasn't in the way. Alright, just do a little bit of bonk there so we can get a two at the timer instead of a three. And we're already at the lock level so here we go in 8-4 which is a maze level you just got to find the correct path i gonna go ahead and walk off that go to this pipe here I'm gonna try to set up for a two frame setup for the wall jump ah missed it unfortunately that's fine this is the turnaround room. Turn around just enough so you can go into the water area here. And I did hold down at the start of this and I got hit. That's not good. Hopefully Bowser will be nice here. We'll see. Yo, jump forward, dude. No, you're not going to jump forward. All right, that's fine. And that. It's SMB1 one warp done in 11 minutes flat. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> Bowser wasn't too kind there. That would have been a sub 11, but you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, that is Super Mario Brothers uh, coming up next. Uh, I'm still here, or we're going to be playing uh, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Level. So stay tuned for that, folks.